Hey, this is Kyle with ConvertKit, and today I wanted to talk to you about sending out broadcasts and how you can make sure your audience is right every single time. Now, it's a little bit frustrating when you set up a broadcast and you have a bunch of sequences or tags or other things that you want to exclude. Maybe you wanna make sure that people in certain sequences aren't getting your broadcasts, but you still wanna use broadcasts because broadcasts are a great way to get a message out. Maybe you're sending out a weekly update about your blog or your videos or whatever it may be, and you wanna send out that broadcast. Or maybe you have some urgent updates that need to go out, but they don't need to go out to people who are in certain sequences or tags or even who have signed up to certain forms. So let's take a look at how you can set up that audience ahead of time instead of doing that every time you create a new broadcast. Now, if I scroll down here on the subscribers page, you'll see on the right side, there's an area for segments right above tags. If you haven't used segments before, you're also in a lot of luck during this video because you'll learn the magic of segments. It's great to set up a segment, not just to see certain segments of your audience, but also to create some audiences ahead of time for sending out a broadcast. So let's take a look at this open for broadcast segment. On the left side here, I've already got it open and I'm just gonna edit. And if you've sent out some broadcasts, this interface probably looks really familiar. And by default, all broadcasts have this exact same filter group here at the top where it says matching any of all subscribers. So this is just sending out to all of your subscribers. But I've added a second filter group here. And to do that, you just click this add filter group at the bottom and that will add in another group. The reason I've added another group is that I want this group to be matching none of the following. That will basically just exclude anything below that none area. And I don't want anyone in the DND tag to get any of my broadcasts. The DND tag is just a tag I've set up that will um, basically do not disturb. So <laughs> I just have that tag there to make sure I could filter out some either individuals or certain groups of people who I don't think should get certain things from me. I also have a couple of forms that I'm filtering out here, and I've also filtered out some segments. So you can totally filter segments within segments and um, make some pretty cool things happen with that. Um, this particular segment is just looking for um, some GDPR stuff to make sure I'm filtering those out of broadcasts as well. So that's my general setup for this segment, but let's go take a look at how this is used when you're setting up a broadcast. All right, so here in the broadcast editor, we're gonna take a look at the very first step, which is recipients. And by default, every single broadcast starts off this way, sending to all of your subscribers by default. We're just gonna remove that. We're gonna add a filter, and instead of subscribe to, we're going to select within segments and then we'll just choose that open for broadcast segment. So now I have my recipients set up really quickly and easily. I don't have to worry that my broadcast is gonna go out to the wrong people or that it's gonna to go to someone I didn't want it to go to because everything is within that segment. So when you create something new, like a new sequence or a new tag or anything like that, just make sure you put it in that segment um, if you want it to be excluded from broadcasts and it will just be excluded when you choose the open from broadcast segment. And you don't have to worry when you're sending out a broadcast about figuring out your audience and making sure it's right every single time. It makes setting up broadcasts a lot easier. It makes sending out broadcasts a lot less stressful. And I hope you'll use this and enjoy it.